Hello. My name is Tani from STD. So what are your pros and cons for sterile processing? Um, like, this individual, he's my manager. He's the best manager ever. He my cons are sometimes things go missing. Whenever you're doing a tray, it's very frustrating to try to locate one of the in particular items that you're looking for in your tray. If it's not one piece that you're missing, then you can't put the tray up. So that one piece can really hold you back. Hi, my name is Takina Butler, and I have been in SPD for nine years. My pro of this department now is we have a good manager, and we literally have enough people for a full daytime shift. So we are able to do more things that we couldn't do when we were short people. My con. So what are your pros on decon? My pros? I mean your cons. I'm My sorry. cons on decon is sometimes the cases are very, very heavy very heavy so you should at least be able to pick up between 20 to 45 pounds um bloody if you are really scared of blood and skin <laughs> this is not what you it's need to be doing you. <laughs> um you have to properly wear your ppe um you can get blood and skin and suture and stuff on yourself be aware of the gloves because there's things and you have to really pay attention when they train you on these trains yes. because they have things that can poke you in your finger mm -hmm. and all type of different stuff which you need to let your manager or your lead know so they can put that down on proper documentation. You have to be able to stand a lot of noise, yes. heat, and stand on um, your feet. And stand on your feet multiple times. There is no chairs back there. Yes. You have to know how to uh, multitask because you're using the cart wash, you're using the washers, you're using the sonic, you're using, you're, you get stuff off the yeah. elevator. Sometimes you are the trash person. <laughs> Sometimes trash people don't come and you got to do it. Uh, when things are broken, you will learn how to fix it. Yeah. Um, basically. What about for case cards? What are your cards? I don't have any. You don't have any? Okay. Another kind? So another kind, if you have a weak stomach, decon is not the thing for you because like I said, it has skin, it has all type of bones, but it has the smell of blood. If you are scared of the smell of blood, this is not for you. It is, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> My name is John. I've been working at SPD for over a year. Okay, what is your pro? working in sterile processing. The pros working in sterile processing uh, the people and the knowledge. Okay, and what's your con? Uh, the communication between EOR and the sterile processing part. What's up you guys, it's your girl Bree the Diva and I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna give you my pros and cons of working in the sterile processing department. Now, as you can see early on in the video, I do have coworkers and I have them basically just to say their pros and their cons working in sterile processing. So if you want to see more of this video, please keep watching. Okay, you guys. So I had to take a break and put a cough drop in my mouth. If I sound stopped up, y'all, I do have a sinus infection. So that's what you hear like in my voice. Okay, so starting off, I have a list of stuff for you guys. So for me... One of my pros is staying busy. Like with this job, you will definitely stay busy. If you're the type of person that always have to be busy, you have ADHD or any of that sort, or you just like fast paced work, this is the job for you. You would definitely stay busy, keep your mind occupied. Um, the next I have on my list is the people you work with. Like, I have some amazing people at my job. Like, you meet people from all walks of life. You have people who went to college. Y'all, I'm trying to make it through this video. I'm trying. I'm trying. My nose running. But we're going to get there. We're going to get there. All right. The next one is, um, did I say, like, all walks of life? Yeah, like, you get to meet people from all walks of life. Like, I definitely have some amazing people on my team. You know, you have people who have went to high school. You got people who have went to college. And they just in different paths of their life. Like, you will meet great people, especially, like, if you are a traveler. I can't speak from a traveler aspect because I am just at one hospital. But you do meet a lot of great people. Um, let's see. Flexing. So we have this thing where we flex when we are extremely, extremely slow on the job. So mostly our slow days are like Mondays or Fridays. 
So like sometimes if there's no work, we can flex early on a Friday. Sometimes we don't even have to come in. So I do like that flexibility on an extra day. I know like in the summer months, in the spring months, we do a lot of flexing at my job. Um, let's see. Also another pro for me, like I get to see surgeries. So I am the lead technician. So when I go upstairs and check on the OR rooms, like I get to see different surgeries. I like that. Even sometimes if we're slow, we get to go upstairs and we get to watch surgeries and we still get paid. Like, I think that is the most interesting thing. You get to see surgeries. Like, you can see a hip replacement. You can see a knee replacement. Like, it's so many things that you can experience and learn. And if you're a type of person who wants to move from a sterile processor to a surgical tech, that is the perfect foot in the door to see what a surgical tech does. Um, the next thing, you can travel with this job. So, like, with this career, you can travel. You don't have to be in one state. So, if, like, you move or you're a type of person who like to travel and go places, you can still travel, see different states, see different city, cities, and still get paid. So, that's why I like. With this job, you're not just stuck to one job, one place. If you want to, you can just brighten your horizon, be like a bird, and fly and get the money. Like, honestly... The money is in traveling, but there are some places that will really pay you really, really well. <laughs> All right. Another pro for me is wearing scrubs. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I come from a field of social work and I used to have to dress up like all the time for work. So for me, like, I don't have to do my hair. If I want to, my hair can look a mess under my bouffant. I could just throw on scrubs and call it a day. Like, I don't have to look dressed. I don't have to look up to par. I don't have to wear makeup every day. Like, if I don't want to, I don't have to. Literally, you go in with scrubs, get you a head cap, and that's it. So, that's one thing I do like. I don't have to wear street clothes, my you know, my regular clothes into work. And then you save no, I'm not going to say you save and wash your clothes because you do have to wash your scrubs often. Um, and then another one is the job is very rewarding. Just think that you are the heart of the hospital. When people say that you are the heart of the hospital, what do the heart do? The heart keeps everything pumping. The heart keeps everything moving. So just keep that in mind when you are trying to apply for a stair processing job. Like this is a career. This is something that's very rewarding. Like, you are helping individuals. Like, you may not be on, like, with the patients, but you're on the back end. So, yeah, the job is very rewarding. Um, and another thing for me, the certifications. Like, you can get so many cert certifications in sterile processing that can kind of look so good on your resume. They have like the CHL, which is like the leadership certification. They have um, CER, which I think is for like endoscopes and CIS, which is like uh, instrumentation certification. So you can get a lot of certifications under this certification. Like you can just keep advancing yourself, advancing your career. And say if like you start off, with just a regular CRCST or the other one certification and down the line you just get all these certifications when you go to another company or you're looking for another job they're going to take all that into consideration when they're thinking about your pay like all these certifications is going to go so good on your resume so I do like that like you do have a chance to elevate and increase your um your certification um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Fridays. Now, y'all know on Fridays, it's the end of the week and you literally just be done. I like at my facilities, Fridays are the slowest days. So like Fridays, most people flex. So I love that. Like if it's an opportunity to flex, you can flex on a Friday. You could go cook your dinner early. You can go run some errands. You can wash clothes. I love it. Sometimes, like, our 
surgeries on our surgeries on Fridays are like seven or 15 cases compared to our Tuesdays and Thursdays, which is like 40 and 50 cases. Okay, y'all. Now we're going to go into the cons. Like, I should have did the cons. I should have did the cons first. Because I don't like all this negativity. So we definitely should have did the cons first. All right. So the number one for me as a lead technician is the drama. Drama. I feel like because I'm the lead, I'm kind of like almost in the middle of everything. So this is just coming from my perspective. So the drama, like we're dealing with first shift, second shift, third shift, if you have one, the drama. If you are a type of person who can't handle drama, can't handle people saying anything about your work, criticizing you about your work, this is not the job for you. Because in this field, Anywhere you go, you're going to make mistakes. But with this job, they are definitely hard on us making mistakes because it sometimes it does affect patient safety. So, yeah, just sometimes the drama can be overwhelming. And it's not just like people getting on you about your work. It's just, you know, any workplace that you have is going to be a drama. Um Standing up, y'all. This job is very strenuous. Standing up, bending, lifting. Like somebody said earlier in the video, decon. Decon is a lot on your body. Decon can be a lot on your body. Even though at our facility, we have uh, people there just like once a week. Sometimes if somebody call out, they're in there twice a week. So, yeah. Decon can be very stressful on the body and case cards because you're lifting instruments that's 25, 50 pounds sometimes. And you're lifting it from at the bottom of the case card. So just think about if you have a case card with three or four or five trays as heavy as that, and you got to move fast paced on a busy day, it can be overwhelming. So if you're a type of person that can't stand on their feet, um, don't want to really do hard labor, I wouldn't suggest. Yeah, so if you're a person that don't like to be on your feet, this would be a con for you too. We do have seats in our department, so I heard some facility have seats, some don't. So this is really, I guess that'd be a pro for me. Um, it can be stressful at times. Like this job is very demanding. And sometimes you can have nurses, um, possibly doctors, other staff members can be very aggressive. Like if they need something, if the OR needs something and they have a patient on the table, they can be hasty. So you have to have, definitely have to have thick skin when you work in this field. Like when I first started, I was just like, why are they acting like that? Like, why are they acting like that? So, yeah, like, it's a con. If you're a type of person that don't like, you know, don't like attitudes or you easily to cry, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, let's see. Decon. We're going to go back to decon. Because I feel like that's where everybody con is, really. So, like, I like to tell people up front. Decon is hot. It can be hot sometimes. It's sweaty. It's hard on the body. You see blood. You see guts. You smell blood. You um, see guts, tissues, anything you can see in decon. Okay? So if you have a weak stomach and you can't see, seeing, you can't stand seeing blood and tissue, and bones, I would highly suggest not do this job. But, so yes, y'all, that is it for my video. This is the pros and cons for me of working in sterile processing and some for my staff. On my next video, I will be doing a Q&A question and answers. So I will be taking like questions from my previous posts 
and also from this post as well, guys, I want you to load me down with all the questions that you have so I can answer them in my video. I mean, load them down. Whatever you want to know, please ask so when I do the video, I can answer these questions for you. All right, you know how it goes. Be blessed, be kind. Peace out. Breathe the Diva is signing out. Bye.